This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. All right, Ro, Russ chimed into this conversation on whether or not artists can be blackballed. This all has to do with the baby feeling like he's blackballed. He posted on his stories previously, not bad for the blackball baby after his album sold uh, 16,000 units in the first week. Well, here is what Russ had to say in his Instagram story. He said, I just want to give my two cents on something in my industry. No artist is blackballed unless they cut up your Wi-Fi, remove your social media accounts, and take your music off all the streaming platforms. You are not blackballed. If you are famous and can still tell your fans, hey, I'm putting out music, then you're not blackballed. Fans will listen to your music or they won't. It's that simple. Also, if you are a famous artist and you need playlists in order for people to listen to your music, how real are your fans? Why don't they support you regardless? We're giving too much credit and power to DSPs and not enough power to us, the artists and the fans. I know for me, as long as I can tell my fans I'm putting out music, I'm straight. I'm not entitled to any playlist, nor do I need them for my fans to listen to me. That's why they're my fans. No, he's he's absolutely positively wrong. You can be blackballed, and we're seeing it with the baby. Whether it's the record labels telling uh, DJs not to play the record or it's not added to those playlists where people will hear, where other artists are on those playlists and selling more records and streaming more records. So yes, but I, they I, are blackballing. The I baby see, right I now. see both sides. It's not cut or dry. It's nuanced to it, right? Like Russ does have a point. Fans definitely will listen, or they won't. But to your point. You do have people who can turn these lights off. Like, yes, you know, if, if, you, if you're at these screaming platforms and they got these editorial playlists, you know, and they can keep you off those playlists. You got program directors and DJs who won't play your records. You, you got people in charge of touring companies and they can keep you out of certain venues. They can, yes, they, they can, can blackball you. Yeah, they can, they can blackball mm-hmm. you if they want. But now I get what Russ is saying. As long as you have access to your fans and the fans have access to your music, they'll find you. Like NBA Youngboy. Yes. He may not get radio play, but his yes. fans definitely find him. Yeah, well, he's he, not blackballed. Yeah, though. he just don't get radio play. He doesn't get radio play. Radio's out of touch. That's all. <laughs> all right. That's the now, only the baby is going to be going on tour, though, and that tour starts off October 27th in Minneapolis. All right. Now, Whoopi Goldberg is responding to a critic who claimed that she was wearing a fat suit in the Emmett Till movie. She said, uh, um, a lady who writes for one of the magazines, and that was The Daily Beast is the magazine that she was referencing, had something to say about the movie Till, where Whoopi Goldberg plays Emmett Till's grandmother. Here is what Whoopi Goldberg had to say in response to that writer. There was a, a young lady who, who writes for uh, one of the magazines, yes. uh, and she was distracted by my fat suit. Now, and I'm just going to say this. I don't really care how you felt about the movie, but you should know that was not a fat suit. That was me, and that was steroids. Remember last year? Yeah, I had all, you were Okay, you were and I was Ill. very... Was very sick. And so... Hospital. And I assume you don't watch the show, or you would have known that that was not a fat suit. But I just want to let you know that it's okay not to be a fan of a movie, but you want to leave people's looks out... Because I'm sure you didn't mean to be demeaning. That's what she got out of that movie? Whoever saw that movie? Yeah, why, why would you even say that? Like, I saw Till, and I once did I think about how Whoopi looked. I was too busy trying not to have a panic attack because of how Emmett Till looked mm. in that casket after those crack-ass crackers lynched him. Okay, commenting on Whoopi's weight is a way of not commenting on the reality of America. That movie brings the light. Now, the Daily Beast did not return a request for comment, but they did delete uh, that part of the article about the distracting fat suit. All right. And, you know, Whoopi Goldberg has been saying that she thinks that the the woman um, who actually Carolyn Bryant Donham, the white woman behind Emmett Till's lynching, who is still a free woman, still has not even, you know, come forward to state that she did those things and that she was responsible for that lynching. Yeah, that's one thing I learned uh, when I saw Till, like, because, you know, there, there was always reports that the woman confessed to the crime and it's like that never happened. Mm-hmm. She still never has come forward to let people know that it was her. At least do that part. That's wild. Whoopi Goldberg I thought they said just she released the story. I thought we that's what I thought too. Year. I thought even, we even reported it. That's what I thought, too. I was like, wow. Wow. They, they, I don't want to give too much. Well, I guess, I mean, it's already out. But yeah, they, they say that they show that in the movie that she, that never happened. She never confessed to you know, uh, lying about what she said Emmett Till did to her. Oh, wow. All right, now Shaquille O'Neal is going to be on the next Drink Champs. That's coming out hey. on Thursday on Revolt, and here is the teaser for that episode. You feel like you're the best basketball rapper of all time? Yes. So my agent called me and said, you ain't going to believe this. I said, well, he said, Jive offered you $10 million for three albums. I was like, ooh, I went platinum. 
and they showed me the check, and I was like, this some bullshit. They used to say Shaq can be the best guy in the world, but he's not a, a, a great free throw, free throw shooter. Can't be mad at that. Hey, you know why? Because you can't break my throat. Can you get rid of my You a cop in Miami Dade County still? I right? was until you just blew my cover. <laughs> <laughs> Drop on the clues bombs for Nori and DJ EFN, man. I love Shaq. Drink too, Champs man. is cooking. Salute to Shaq. Make sure y'all subscribe to the Drink Champs podcast on the Black Effect iHeartRadio Podcast Network. I will definitely be listening to that Shaq conversation. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. Right, what, we... Did Shaq drink? I don't know. Mm, that's a good question. I guess we'll see. I gotta ask Nori. Nori, did Shaq drink? Mm, that's a good question. I ain't seen the trailer yet. All right, we got front page news next. What are we talking about? All right, well, let's start it off with student loan forgiveness. Now, student loan forgiveness applications are going to be open early October. And so just going to give you some clarification on the whole process and how you can sign up. All right, we'll get to that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.